We laugh, we'll cry, we'll dance, we'll share your pain. Sometimes it rains, but now it's time to gain. The Debbie a New Man Project, hosting conversations throughout the nation. You're keeping it locked, don't forget. Doing it together, now we'll take a step. If you watch the show, you'll know everything you need to know. No other can. Number one entertainment show. Subscribe to YouTube so you'll catch it while you're on the go. Where energies flow, building each other, so we gotta grow. Oh, the Debbie a new mind project. Posting conversations throughout the nation. You're keeping it locked, don't forget. Doing it together, now we'll take a step. Welcome to the Debian Newman Project. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. No, no problem. I've had you on my mind for the longest while, thinking that you're so, yes, for real, that you're someone I would love to, you know, have a conversation with and dive into who mackerel is because from social media we have formed our own um ideas of who you are as a person and how you presented yourself the first time we all seen you take people man people man comfortable and stuff like yes, that girl, I'm being right <laughs> but who is the girl behind all of that who is the girl behind all of that um, all right, let me narrow it down a little bit. Tell me a little bit about how you you were raised. I almost raised. Okay. So I was raised in a house like this with a mother, like a single mother. I basically, yeah, my normal father, everything, but basically I'm not... All of my childhood or most of my childhood, it was around my mother. And then bam, it wasn't, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't like a happy home. She was she was hardly around. Like, like she was busy working. And then when we go my father, it's like my mother and father always got argues. It's like I was in the middle of everything. I know them somebody will affect me. It made it difficult for you. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you know, it's like that, but I was always that child where like I don't know if I was wanted because you know your mother and your father they've been a cost, they always a cost I get in at the middle light and it wasn't just I never, I never tell them. I don't think I was raised in a happy home, but I'm a happy girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. try, yeah. So I really try to make how I was raised. Me used to make kids affect me when I'm telling a lie I used to but then it's not as we grow older and get more or whatever and understand life more we just say okay then this is life mm -hmm. this is life but at, since you grew up with your mother at what point the relationship between you and your mother started breaking out because we've seen on social media where you have expressed that there is a breakdown in that relationship. What what caused that, and at what point do you believe it happened? I don't know. Me just me me feel like I told my mother been at this on her own because it wasn't a case like when I was growing. My father did that maintain for saying was helping or whatever I know whatever my ability. So me feel like say to she. She know mentally stable and then because somebody at at what age? For me know myself. Like for me, everything me know myself is like me and I never have that bond yet. The mother and daughter bond where we could have come to and could have say, um, mommy, you know, said this happened to me. I'm mean, not feel comfortable with going around this person or uh, whatever my because because she was always angry. She was always angry. So you know, you probably are gonna be the freddy freddy child. And then somebody say, "Now go and go to your mother because you're afraid of your mother go Russia." So true, she was always angry or whatever. Man, but the case from know myself, we just never have a bond. We just never, never click. Whatever. We never click. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like she 
she played her role as a mother and protected you as she should have? I don't feel like she played her role as a mother. She played her role, let me tell you, about my mother. She played her role, you see my mother, we see you. That's the role my mother played. But as in like for sit down with her, talk to you, motivate you, helping you, some difficult time, because I say I have feelings and things probably we have better you as a daughter. We should, we don't have the mother there. Mm -hmm. We don't have the mother there. Mm -hmm. All right, so as, go ahead, go ahead. Because if, if you if you do I feel like you can, because my mother can observe people and their attitude, right, and whatever. My mother is always the leader, with the part of school. My mother is always the leader, with the part of school constantly, with her grandmother, her mother, her sister, they so like, you're gonna get a chance, not at all, for that, because 24 hour people pick up when she's not on the road, when she up on the road, she left home, they on the phone, whatever. She not say, oh, my daughter, you know, like, you don't have some mother. I mean, let's do this as a mother. What happened to you today? Did anybody do this to you? Did anybody do that? I mean, I get them lovely treatment. I mean, I get them something. Some, we just never have no bond. You said that she's never asked you any of these questions. So I'm assuming in your opinion, you felt like she never protected you the way she should have. Right. What type of whatever what type of protection do you believe that you needed from your mother? What what type of protection protection I think I needed from my mother? May I wish if she was a mother, where I said to Mr. Madata and Mutel. Mush if she had said to Mr. Madata, you know so I reach X and certain age. I when I can talk to you. I don't want to really do whatever. But we should, should this time to me as a dad and to my dad, you know, when you start this year, menstruation cycle, you can get pregnant. This mm -hmm. will to you. You start both breast, man, we look here because there's a lot of pervert. We should really talk to me and have the bond. My dad, if something bother you, come, come tell me, share it with me. Be, me, be your best friend. I just never wish it was a case where you only have feed me like, Needs a refuge. You know, if I if I say you call it. Because mm -hmm. as I said to you, I explained to you, she will feed you. My mother will ensure grocery is dear. Like she'll ensure them look at somebody. But for the day we can say to you, oh, she's a mother, like she we she we come here, graduation, come here, sports dear, whatever, support you, ensure say you have a birthday a cake. Because I've never gotten a birthday cake. No more big no more cancer. I have never received like a birthday cake from a mother, my birthday I come and sugar all out. I have never received them good treatment, them nice treatment them. as a child. I mean, December I come and yeah, go give kids them gifts for Christmas or whatever, whatever. Me like, me like never get them them treatment. You yeah, understand? You know, when mother gets toys, whatever I be reading books, you say, okay, then whatever. Whatever I get them somebody else. Yeah. So me just you feel like say, she just never did it for me. You felt like you weren't you you felt like you weren't loved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You you did forget you know, baby, never tell her story, no woman never tell my I'm not forgetting them. Like I'm in a sixth grade and I graduate. From whatever school room at the time. Mother and father never turned up for the graduation. And everybody else pick everybody, every other else pick me. Parents was there and them turn. My mother just never turned up. Me just never knew. My mother called us because she never found the plane I got fine, which she wasn't. Her flight delayed. She just didn't, she never turned up. I mean, like those things affect your child. Small things and little things them affect your child. If you understand me, I go there. You understand me? Yeah, okay? for sure. Yeah. All right. So you said she never had that conversation with you about your menstrual your menstrual cycle. You're going through puberty and your body changing, and no men going to look at you. Um, with not having the knowledge, do you feel like you rush into things at a young age, maybe where where sex is concerned? Um, do I feel like I rush into things? No. Me just did feel like say. At a time, man, okay, you know, you have, you have a little boyfriend in the time, they, they must show you something, they must hug you, they must kiss you. Me, you, you as a child, who don't know, at 12, 13 years old, you're not going to say, oh, 
this sex come with it also. You just feel like you look a boyfriend and uncle punk something and whatever. You not go to work. Then again, you just at the time you just get into it or whatever. It just happened because at the end of the day, when they just don't know something, maybe you just don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm not gonna dive into it too much because we already spoke about it yesterday, not to go into it too much. But when you got pregnant, was that consensual? Was that someone you were in a relationship with? Um, we, 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 when we were, I've, I've been with him at a time from I was from like one year before I conceived. So men were at a time for that kind of relationship. I remember I was a kid, I was a child. I still don't know what sort of thing. So, I don't know if you're that kind of a relationship. But you just know that the, I thought or I feel like this man was loving me, telling me I love you. And she would say, if I said I want X amount of things, I get it. Or uh, whatever. You know, it may I get an angry anger towards me at no point in a shout, in a beat me at the time. In a, yes, I mean, feel like that this was a love. So, you know, probably a kind of relationship. At the time. At the time. How old do you think you were at that time? The thing you knew over here. How old were you then? I, well, I met him at 12. I met uh-huh. him when I was 12 years old. I got pregnant when I was 13 years old. So, yeah, I, yeah, I was young. And yeah, how was old like, was he? Big man. Big old. <laughs> 20, big, big man. Big man. Okay. Because the rumors were, um, that I heard that it was someone in your family that got you pregnant at that young age? I mean, the, the media will always be the media. And we, we can't take that from the media. Yeah, because right. people say, oh, are your father, reader, or whatever might be the case, which nothing like that. Me being a little boyfriend and I've been a do 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 and nothing like that. So. Yeah, we can make that clear now, right? Right, we just cleared that. It was not a member of your family. But you, as a 12-year-old, 13-year-old girl, how did you find time to go look for your big man boyfriend like that? That's the thing. When parents don't take the time off to know about their child, their child will be able, because things are affecting my home. So I'm going to find time. I'm going to go to school. I'm going to go with my friend there. And I'm going to just be whatever, be whatever, because guess what? I'm not really getting attention. So I'm find the time, man. I'm find the time. I'm find the time, time. Me, me, use, me can confess. Me, remember, at some point in time, my mother said she never, she not send me to school the day, right? And my brother would have sent me to go by a bleach. He never lived far from me. So my brother would have sent me to go by a bleach. And girl, my left from the house at 9 30, said me to go by a bleach. I mean, just to come back one, two o'clock. <laughs> me just, I come, don't laugh. I never tell about this again. Me like nine thirty when my mother gone. Twelve o'clock, one o'clock. Me just a come back with the bleach from the time them send me. Car me just take a taxi go for the boy yard. Uh huh. I never live as far. Probably one could fifteen minutes driving did live. I one could ten minutes driving did live. Mm hmm. So. Mm hmm. Yeah. You gonna have a little for now come back. No. I was looking for that girl. I was looking for now we come back. Mm-hmm. But as as such a young girl, you you barely know anything, and you're barely understanding your body at that point. How yeah. how was it for you being thirteen and pregnant? Okay, let me. How was it? So yeah. when I got pregnant, I end up my life changed, and the father my life changed. And when I got pregnant, my mother wasn't in my life, so I went to. States, um, what I'm calling people in states, um, government in government facilities. So you know you get a care there. People they feel you don't miss a clinic yet. You know you you know not worried about baby clothes, whatever, whatever. So I had it easy because I had persons there for me, not any family member, not uh-huh. any mother, but strangers was there because as I say, I went, I was a ward of the state at the time so yeah them didn't see me and she would say whatever me eating my four five six meals a day and no stress not now but I mean and yeah so I, it was easy mm-hmm. so after you had your baby was it a situation where you had to give the child up or I, 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 
Okay, there's a thing in Jamaica called the mustard seed community. So the mustard seed community cater for young teenage pregnancy, we got mustard seed, my natural baby. We're gonna got mustard seed, and we're gonna take the time because mustard seed did what they did and uh -huh. do what they did. Yeah, you understand? So there are, there's a thing called the mustard seed community where they respond for teenage mothers. So yeah, have a baby dead here, get them there, they find pregnant, whatever, push out the baby, give birth or whatever. Say so the house. So that also you keep your baby them elder center back a woman center, etc. etc. But the thing is that there's a period of time where your baby can stay there. So you see when the baby is six months, then find your parents them. If they do can't find anybody for you, they are gonna separate you from your child. So it's not a case where you can say, okay, you're too young, you have to give up a baby, baby for adoption. No, they're gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Then find family members for you and Send it home, send you and your baby home to your family members. If they can't, then they would have the baby go children home and you go a different homes. When you grow big now, as an adult, you're financially stable, whatever, whatever, you can go back for your child. Mm -hmm. you know, so that kids where you have to give up a child. All right, so and that's that's your um that's the direction that you're looking into to be financially stable so you can have everybody together. Um, we are together, no. So you're saying at this point you are together, new baby and the first child. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I'm happy for you then to know yes. that. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, you. All right, this is it now. This is the breakthrough moment where I can. Don't worry about it. I can see you and I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. So this is a breakthrough moment and this is when Mackerel introduced herself to the world and you made that viral video talking about, what do you say again? Um, people man nice yeah, and comfortable. People man nice 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 and comfortable. Right. But why did you say that at the time? And did you even think about going viral did you even know what viral was at the time at the time me was just a normal get a girl who was sleep on a three foot bed so me don't know about instagram not like that just a girl where i got out just a try to occupy her time me never know about viral me put up my phone put up my status or whatever whatever like with the kids and then boom that's where it goes. You never know them somebody. You never know say that go go places and reach places. You can reach all like England, Canada. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. But there is the positive of that, which is you flying out. And then there was also the negative where people online had so many different comments to to feed in your way. Um, speaking about your appearances, um, people had comments about the things that you are saying about taking people, man, how did that affect you as a young person? Me, affect me? Mm -hmm. The truth always gonna hurt. That's what we all need to realize in our life right now. They be say, truth are gonna hurt. Everybody take people, man, baby. Because you older man, you might be able to even come home to your night time. You might get to other girls. Because I guess your man will always be man and whatever. That's how people say, whatever, whatever. So it never affect me no way because I'm just to tell the truth. So if it, a man is everybody, man. A man only have two, three, four, five, six man. And somebody did have to come out, come talk it. Because at the end of the day, everything can stay behind closed doors at all times and every time or whatever might be the case. So I never really feel no way. It never did affect me no way because I'm just living. Just living, right. So these things that you were saying, they were actually true. So if me, if you and Debbie are friends and Debbie have our nice man and so on, so you don't take my man, Michael? It depends. <laughs> Tell me it depends, where it depends, man. Depends about how much you think about the friendship, man. Uh-huh. So if yeah, you don't I, value, if you don't value the, the friendship. I take him 
I'm a sis, I'm a son, I'm a like, I'm a take him. Especially if I'm a look, I'm a take him. Mm-hmm. I'm going to value the friendship there. Yeah. So no girl never boss you up yet, like, for them type of things there? Eh? Yeah, that's a girl boss on my head one time, one time. Yeah, how that happen? No man, lady a fight over man. So we should have caught you off guard? Walk me through it, how it happened? <laughs> I don't remember the whole story because it happened for years. But I mean, what the lady come and the lady talk to the man and the lady come with a big stone and whoops. Well, and so the same man that you was taking, you was talking to him at the time? Me he was talking to the man. I was talking to the man. I was talking to the man. I was talking to the man. And then the lady just come with a stone and just up. So you, you, did you get a chance to defend yourself? Um, no, but he defended me. Can we get a boy? Yeah, the man defended me. There, you are fear, man beat her. The, 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 the we are all, it was so, um, whatever it are, which of a police station I'm beating, but the man beat her back. Come on, let me be busy. I wall up my head and the wall of the blood are run down and stop, stop my dream. And I'm beating, baby. But I have time to beat back, girl. Because it was the case of the fight, you know, she in and for me and me and papa. And I just come with the stone and go for walking on my career. Mm hmm. And see what happened. The man of that time to see what happened. And just take a photo and start beat her. Oh my god. So you and the man um, continue talking after that point? Um, yeah, we'll talk. Just with each other. We don't want to know what's up. We'll talk. We'll talk. If we see each other, no one in our neighbor. We'll talk. Yeah, we'll do that too. Can we call it? We see a long, long, long. But one and the door, Macrell, in this case, you're the side chick. And she would be wifey. We don't know what. What do I mean? What are you doing? Mm hmm. I suppose we had a wife and she had a side. We don't even know how to go, yeah, but. Maybe you were the wife, cause I'm defending it to the fullest. Right, <laughs> okay, so because of um all of this that's happening online, you're famous now. Uh, well, you're viral now. Me know you, everybody know you, media people know you, etc. You are invited on a specific um radio show, and for most people, they felt as if the radio announcer was trying to shame you and by calling you certain names. How did you feel at that time in that interview? I mean, for feel away because remember the end of the year is brother run through me and not I am. So never feel away because me never come from there, you say me as simple five, six man. But you did go ahead and call me prostitute, right? And I'm doing prostitution. Mm -hmm. That to be me feel a way, me a feel a way. But then again, too, when I need to feel a way because all of we are prostitutes, some of we are public prostitutes, and some of we are private prostitutes, the truth is between. Because now we not going to do one man, and the man not going to give the money in some farmer we are some starter way. Yeah, we are prostitutes, that's true. Because you're not going to give the money from, because you know, so you're not going to money from, because. In not getting money. You go give somebody. Yeah, once I'm gonna give you a money. You go give me a front. So I get somebody a prostitute. But it's not what you said. It's how you said and where you said at the time. Mhm. Mm and it yeah, was. It and it oh. was said over the airways that you are a prostitute. Right. Right. Now I never bring. Come. I tell you. Yes, I take people man. Yes, I mash up homes, but I never say, say oh, every man will take Debbie, every man, every man will, will look me daddy, my take my, my sex them. I didn't say that to you, but yet I will, I you misinterpret what that was said, and yeah, yeah, you man being in a perfect, so I get to understand and we'll move on from there. Mm -hmm. You and her move on from there. Did you ever get an apology from her, or you don't think an apology is necessary? Um, it is not necessary. To be told, it is it is not necessary. You say what you say. I guess at the end of the day, is it your opinion and it's an opinion is it were. But you have to remember in the future there's time and place for everything. So you're not gonna repeat that mistake over and over. Because again, if probably you didn't know problem, that's who you have a declaration of character because you called me a prostitute. Mm -hmm. You said I'm a prostitute and you're insisting on telling me, yes, you're a prostitute. That's what you were doing, right? Mm -hmm. so in in your own words you just feel as if you're living your life and you're doing what makes you feel comfortable as 
a human being. Yeah. Everybody have one life to live. They be a way to live it to the best of our ability. You can't live it for me. You can't think for live it for me. You can't feel like that. You can come tell me what is right because guess what? This is my life, Debbie. And you have your own life, Debbie. And the man over there having own life, Debbie. Everybody have them own life for live. So what they think is that you can't tell a man how to live them life. Oh, you see, if I feel like I want to be a prostitute, then that is my business. You are not supposed to complain on my truth. Yes, you're a prostitute. Debbie, because I choose to be a prostitute if I want to be a prostitute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where do, there's something else that you had said online that also drew a lot of attention to you, where you call yourself maybe a cockroach or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Do, why, why did you refer to yourself as that? Because... Then I got an the conversation. I'm gonna say, um, let's pray, get the beer guns, pray the cockroach. So yeah, you're gonna go with it because guess what? The crowd said it. Oh, so the crowd said it first, referred to you as a cockroach, and then you mm -hmm. ran with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you flip it on them. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself someone that has um high self-esteem or low self-esteem? Um, I don't know. I don't, um, I just can't see myself as somebody who just to live my life. Mm -hmm. Just living your life. Um, in terms of you going viral, how have you capitalized on this to make sure that people aren't using you and if they call you for jobs, then you're being paid for these type of things. Um, you, I do have agents, but people come and people come and use me, man. Remember, people use me. I remember similar with tab or take baby boy because whatever. And what we will give understanding is that this is a using in in a, the field where we're in a, is a using field. Maybe we have just go understand that. But I do have persons who whatever and. Really, 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 take my calls for me, take my messages, ensure that my business is getting done and ensure that I'm getting paid, uh, whatever might be the case. I do have a person. Mm -hmm. But since we're here right now, we're, go we're, we're going to talk about it. Who do you feel used you in the past and didn't want to pay you for your services? Talk about Debbie, you. show you want. Go on the topic there, Debbie. Why I think not? Need we need to leave that. Uh -huh. See, I need that time. We need to do that as a whole different tool. Because it's not an epic one because I've never spoken about it. No one has ever knew what really happened with the person back in the past. And people were always wondering, because guess what? the person move on and me move on. But I was being used because I feel like say, when I get your five minutes and you get your iPad, from me, you find something, some sort of story for develop so you can start dealing with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so we're for future references and Markle is a business, and any business must be generating any business that you have. If you want it to be successful, you have to generate money to keep that machine going. So, moving mm -hmm. forward, you have to, to set yourself free and to make it known that if you want my services, you have to pay for it. You have to confront it head on, like, yeah, no, no, these yeah, are no, the no, things. No, no. Not not free, they will become myself. What well, if we have bills to pay? And this is my service. I am doing something for you, and we need to do things to one another way beneficial. So, me, I'm going to do this for you while you do but this for me. Nothing is free because you know this is my job. This is something that I live in, Debbie. Mm -hmm. So, from, from memory, can you give me an instant where you felt as if you were used? very badly and you weren't you were called for maybe a, a job and you were never paid for that job um never paid i remember, I remember two incidents never paid i remember one time this man said he was keeping a modeling a modeling show right when mm -hmm. you're gonna have a man and he's like person never turn or pay nobody never turn out for the event or whatever the man said, and they don't give me the deposit and everything, you know, but he said that um, he can't pay me because nobody never turned out to the event. I'm like, I never mean anybody to come. 
I am at your event. I'm getting paid to come to your event. I am not getting paid because yes, I'm never did any of me and I learned from that, right? Mm-hmm. So guess what? You're going to be going to draft up a contract, right? Correct. So you're going to draft up a contract. Because I say sometimes you're young in this, and you have to learn. It pays to learn. And I also remember when we were pregnant and we have a booking in our last year and something. So you said that there was an um a situation where you were pregnant and what happened? Oh yeah, and, and this lady had a show in St. Mary's and remember she booked me for the show, she booked me for the show from we are in a corona time, right? So anyway, she ended up keeping the show or whatever. And she she said I was supposed to be the host. Anyway, this dancer girl, she ended up getting this dancer girl. She said, um, she can't go pay me because me never come come to know. It's not me, don't come to know, it's you. Just never tell me, say, okay, it's time to go to show or whatever my big thing. So I'm the dancer, then they are kill up people. So basically, she just never need no host. She mm-hmm. just never did no host because she have the dancer, then we're entertaining the crowd, basically. But I was there, so my, my, my presence, you have a film for my presence. Mm-hmm. Because you did so, show up for the work. So uh, you're right. So um, she ended up paying me like she didn't owe me like thirty thousand, and she gave me like fifteen out of the thirty. Mm-hmm. So she I gave you half. I don't remember, but I think she gave me. I don't remember, but if I say it, but she gave me a little bit of money, a little, a little than whatever. Mm-hmm. With with the the character, are there times when you separate the real person from the character of? mackerel or you feel like you're just mackerel all the time um i they tell when i separate you don't know i'm just me at all the time when i back when i act when i pretend when i know um, i just ask someone to get their be overall and i be like i mean this mm-hmm do you feel like at any point, I see that you address things online a lot. Um, I, I don't know who you were arguing with the other day, some girl, and you were you were jumping at her like, you know, you, you gunned at her really hard. Do you feel like getting older, you're a parent, do you feel like at some point you need to ease down from that or that you believe is what keep you relevant? It's not relevancy is a problem. It's making money. That's mm-hmm. that's the thing. We don't we are we still relevant, maybe I'm not we're broke and hungry. So relevancy is not it. It's just finding means and ways how to make money. And would I feel like I want to cool it down? No. Because I guess I mean I'm going to nobody bully me. I feel like you can come walk over me and I'm like, oh yeah, she has soft stuff. I can do this, I can do all that, I can whatever. And everything I got argue about. But guess what? Your, your cup will overflow at some point. Your cup is going to overflow. And you can say a little bit and no more. So there has to be a topic to it at some point. Remember, I'm not going to trouble people. You know? Remember, me, me, a woman love make my money and needs me. And this is what I love. I love to make my money. So remember, when you come at me, you're going to trouble me. You need to expect that I'm going to retaliate. I'm going to answer you back. And I'm going to trouble you back because I don't feel like they can bully me. This is not a primary school something. This is not a high school business where people used to bully people. And that is what some we do on the internet feel like we can bully people you understand mm-hmm. you know you yes debbie or whatever man but give all along how many times you got like, all the times no mm-hmm. sometimes you have to fight back fight back with your words right so with mackerel being on the rise and you have all these bookings and you're making money from promotions um hosting do you feel at some point you might go back to school. Um, no. Wait, if they never. Want to, if you see, if Debbie wants to go mackerel, I said mackerel. Mackerel, we got school because mackerel is where we have Debbie money. When you say mackerel, I got to go for self and school at own herself. No. You know why? Then me have kids, mm-hmm. and me have. I said to her what I want to accomplish in life. I have goals, I have dreams. School is not my dream. Get out there and create in ideas to make money. That is all I feel like I want to focus on. Because money, school is going to drain your pocket. School not really. I want to come out here, Debbie. Debbie? Uh-huh. What do you probably out here? 
Gas school, I've only got subjects them. Spend five years of degrees. Mm -hmm. Spend five years of degree, diploma. I will go back home, sit down right away. Yard. That I mean, spend. Mm -hmm. When well, the five years there, this is just my opinion. I remember that they remember you have to agree, and nobody needs to agree. For sure. When the five years are five years, create ideas or to make money. Then leave me my as a child, you know. Mm -hmm. My mother used to go at college, beauty services, go to massage. Then she got garments again, go to customer service. I remember. So that's what I take up time. So after that time, when I go take our school, and I go really have a time for your kids, them either. But can't get to it. You focus on assignments, project, this for go in, test, whatever, exam, re, 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 te, 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 whatever. My baby kids, then I go really have a time for your same because I get to it. You have to focus for school because you have to feel like you need to get this diploma. I need to get that A in this assignment or whatever. My baby kids, it's it's time, it's it's money, time, or everything. I that, baby. So that means you don't believe in time management. You believe in money. <laughs> money before school and time management. Yeah, money. There's money. Uh huh. So is 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 right now? Is your bookings that large where you're bringing in that nice amount of money? Debbie. As I'm looking at financial service, I'm a business that pay my all right, I'm here eat food. That's the greatest thing. Yeah. Because you know me, I come from some appreciation to spot me there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, speaking about large sum and whatever, I have whatever and whatever, as long as I know what's there. I eat a food, my bills are paying a lot and I come to me, my life, and I cut off my get my house goes to my kids, good debbie. This is all that matters. Mm -hmm. So do you believe you got some, uh, some level of stability right now? Because we've seen in the past where people have made videos of you being kicked out of other people's homes and stuff no, like that. Like. No, actually, oh God, my yeah. criminal the video, man. And then I said, uh, my mackerel friend, Aki Karo, and let them say. Um, the, or the day when the girl see for money and if she likes them, okay, we call police for them. Yeah, them people. Yes. Money. Because I'm just getting, they used to stay with me, used to live with her, and the video just go viral. And I used to have every night, you know, Debbie, remember me, I got broke some time, and I had a thousand dollars, you know, I need to bring them some 15 grand, some 20 grand. Yes, when we wake up back in the morning, Debbie, the world of the money gone. And your friend was taking the money? The year she had been father. Mm. So she never leave my not even five hundred dollars for you. Not that that me is like me. I say one day if I mean last the money them. So me say night after night me I bring me the money them. I say bring me the money them. Me I sleep with the purse and I need the pill but coming to sleep on the floor. Ah Jesus! Me say open up today. I tell them about my business. The government know them so many baby. So anyways, me uh -huh. sleep on the floor, baby. So me say have like so I have them like the pillow on the floor. So me put the purse under the floor. One night we wake up, we see the man over me. I thief the man, I thief the money over me. Mm hmm. Well, him look at me and say I pass. Him I pass. Go take up something. So you never immediately reach under your pillow to see if the purse under there. Bro, it's under the money. I say throw the purse under the money in there like that. Me I say the purse under the so the money in there. Mm hmm. So when you called the police, what was the resolution? Did you get your money back? No, I didn't get my money. Remember, we just exist in poor. Very poor, very poor. So we just have to understand that I move on with life. I remember we still have bread in our body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So during all during this time when you're you know you're moving around, you take people money and so on. So people money to people man used to give you a nice amount of money. Hey, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Right here, be things, grocery not out. All you have to do is spend your my money as oh me like because the boy I pay my bills then. The lady man I pay my bills. So all you have to do have class if more have class buy this if more and buy that because I don't have to worry because the nigga pay my bills. Mm -hmm. He's alright. Yeah. So in any situation, it's something for something. What right. he, he was giving you his money. And you paying your bills. That's his something to you. So what is your something to him? Because it's Daddy an exchange. Daddy, you're doing this up. Daddy, you're doing this up. Daddy, you're doing this up.
say the exchange is him giving the money and taking care of the bills and then you fling it up. But what is the difference between your fling up and the wife at home? Well, then my man like fun style, that man like can't be up in a S. Support the man, woman can't be up in a Y, T, W, X, I, them stuff with the daddy. Daddy, remember, say, God bless all of you with some miracle working things, you know, Debbie. I remember that everyone a week with a goal, you know, Debbie. So support me without the goal. Yeah. <laughs> support and make the man happy, Debbie. Uh-huh. I mean, you do that. That's a gift for God. Give me what a glory. I can't talk about my story. Yeah, uh -oh. that's a Debbie. Uh oh, so you bring the excitement right there with all of the glory that you have. But, well, at, God, yeah, but at any point, did you feel guilty with, within yourself? Any form me? of guilt? Yeah. Me not feel like guilty. Remember, no one man no come feel no one woman can do the last one with salvation. Me not feel guilty. Me not sad. But sometimes you, you would know who the wife is. That not make you guilty, none at all? Nothing? Mm -mm. Once we good and the man good, we well, once we good, we good. We're not talking about a third party, no. Mm -hmm. That one, see, you never take a girl money, baby. No, no. I mean, Debbie, one woman never in California, and me and me have to get one. I don't know. Even if I took a girl man in the past, I don't know if mother feels so proud. No, sir, I don't feel so proud about it. No, in our life, we can't. We have to pull that everything we do in, in life. Everything that we do in life, as long as it's not a crime, we have to be proud of it, baby. Me not telling a girl, man, I work on all of my head stuff. You're mad? Mm-hmm. Come in, man, baby. You see, if you did good, it's something good is true. But, but, mm -mm. what if the man just greedy? Because some man very greedy, you know. I agree that I come back every minute. Yeah, I'm can greedy. I'm can still greedy. A way I say, you got give too much greed. The wife could be head top, bend up in her ass, and him still go but outside. But one thing I remember say sometimes when I get comfortable in a relationship, she's gonna stop with certain things, gonna stop with certain things, and maybe my just like, mm -mm. But mm -hmm. she's my wife at the end of the day, so I'm not going to really whatever. But to me, I go, they go get somebody who can make my relationship exciting. No? Right. Do you find yourself approaching some of these men or you're always being approached? Me? Mm-hmm. They look good enough. I think, I actually think you're very beautiful. They've been a desperate. Uh -huh. so so all of these men look look mackerel. Shawty, fun style, shape good. Can I bring you a dinner? Man, I no lamb. I take all my bank account down here. Okay, when you rent you, okay, send me a this, send me a that. That you want me? Uh uh, just like that. Yes. <laughs> So you say you don't you don't like um you like the excitement of being the girl on the side, but you don't want the responsibility no, of the woman. Like no, that it, no, that it, no, that it. You know, feel so so hold on, day. So you're telling me that you're not in a relationship right now. You're still a tech people man forever. <laughs> <laughs> all right this is what i've said do you what is what is there about mackerel that you feel is so misunderstood and you would want to clear that up mama tell her what i misunderstood that i don't live my life to nobody somebody wants to misunderstood that only if you just understand to me Live my life for me and live my life for the best of my ability. Because maybe today we're there, tomorrow we're gone. And Jesus and the Lord Jesus against that. But in truth and in fact, what you don't need to understand about me, you know, everybody come tell me, oh, for live my life. That is what you don't need to stop. Feel like only can come dictate and tell me I'm a dictator. So you don't need to just understand. Just remember, live my life. I'm going to live it in peace. I'm going to enjoy. Yeah, that is what they are misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. 
for I, I get that. You also said that you want to build on your ideas because a money you say, and that's what you can see for yourself, right? You want to push out the ideas, make the money. From, from this point on, let's say from now till five, five years from now, where do you see brand mackerel going? Must see, um, me like, okay, me and I were always like, what more? I always want to open this like business, like business, like as in supermarkets, wholesale. My grandma said food sale and people have to eat, right? So I just always have a mark, like mackerel, or everyone, something grocery, or whatever, my kids, some, 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 have different locations. They know you have a platform, you have a cook for your work. More and people be like that big old deal, we can say, yeah. Oh, dear, even for some make some little things, whatever, for myself, like, for example, some of the type of food with a mackerel that be their brand, they suck my, I don't know, some, some, something like that. You understand me, I try to see you. So, them like, them look a business there, them look a wholesale grocery stores, whatever, might be the key, key yes, whatever, just, just know the money is coming in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With so my, I know, must see myself having a lot of business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would be your message to, no, what would be your conversation to your older child right now who's able to see things of you online uh, and then also hearing a lot of um, different things that people have to say about you? Does your child confront you about these things? Um, him him do the between me and you. When I give him a curl, him him do eat curl because he's me and him so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do, do that mm -mm. Do that mm -mm. No, me I said. Mm -hmm. No, I said. Mm -hmm. Him do eat curl because I'm me and him so. So if me and him have a conversation, okay then, baby. Listen, I'm a social media influencer, I'm a social media person, whatever I call them. Listen, I don't promote for people business where have to be promoted online. So people will, in life, whether in a community, in a school, whatever, people will always have negative to say. Not everything is always going to be positive. So we have to find out there. You don't need to believe no, you don't need to take it to art, you don't need to feel a way about no, because people will always, the people will take those things for fear, for bringing it down, because I guess everybody want good feel. So, mm -hmm. and everything is out here, if you feel like you want to believe, if anything that is bothering you, come and say it to me. Let I explain it to you. Don't ever feel like them can talk whatever and feel like it is okay and yeah it's just like a black but big they don't look a reason they will put him you know mm -hmm. so more to have, have comfort them can come to me come to x y and then to me or whatever you all right you said earlier on you said that your mother didn't speak to you in the way that you would want her to have um given you different advice and stuff like that do you find yourself doing the exact same thing with your children or is it that you are working towards being different from what your mother did in parenting and having more talks with your child? I do have more talks and then let him know that I love him and I love them, I appreciate them. Like I do that, they're my best friend, my sing, my this, my that, but everything, everything where I never get that, I never experience. My, my birthday is tomorrow. And we got our lows. Even if I might not give him like, okay, then whatever. But me, I'll make you have the best birthday ever. Ice cream, cake, whatever, that child, that little gift. I can, from I know myself and I can afford to do these things for my child, me do it. There's not a year that pass. We must say, oh, I'm not, I'm not getting them no, but no. My aunt will make sure I know that he loves cars, for example. My aunt will try to design the kid them nice. Because guess what? Kids need to be kids. I know she can talk to my mother. I'm going to give him a big kid tomorrow for my birthday. My mother, I'm going to give him a present for my birthday. I want him of the experience there. I want him to say my mother was there. I don't want him to have it like, oh, my mother wasn't there for me. She was always working. My mother was always busy. My mother don't love me. No. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so how old is your son tomorrow? Eight. Eight, okay. All right. Well, the thing is, I don't know, as Jamaican parents, I think certain things come hard for for um that generation where they wouldn't hug you they wouldn't kiss you they wouldn't say i love yeah, you you know open legs i'm gonna get into the fun thing they just want to hold them kiss them hug them tight i'm um, playing with me me too but you feel like that eh? so you you've traveled to england came and canada and this is all because of mackerel and the things that you've said in the past Take people yeah, back, people, people book you. Me. I people generally love me, I like me. Yeah. Taking mm-hmm. people back and people are truly know us there. People out there take people man for true and it's just the truth. And it's, it's just, just a fact. We, we, we nowadays really don't live in the real world. We live in denial and delusional world and it's somebody else. And somebody just often may bring us to the, the real world at some point. So when you got the booking in England, what, what did they book you to do? Well, I did three bookings in England. I did one in Bur- um, I did um I did have this producer in and then named Drop Top. Big up Drop Top every year. Debbie, big up Drop Top, right? You are the MDP record, Drop Top make it up. So you know I'm a host parties, go on my dance, you know, Debbie. I'm get out mm-hmm. cheap and bait something in England. I'm gonna burn my mom. And Manchester, I'm going to go London. Yeah, the first night as my land, I'm going to London. I want to book it. Yeah. Holy party. Baby, I'm going to dance. I'm going to say some things and get tip. They love me. Mm-hmm. So, so Macril, this is a real question right here. So, visa is the hardest thing to get. How did you get your visa? You got it um, on the first try? I promise. Oh, you got a work permit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, clearly, the young girl like me grown up in the country. You think they're not easy? <laughs> you, took, you took the smarter route. Some people just want to go straight for the visa and don't try out for the work um, visa at first. You have to creep before you walk. Uh-huh. Creep before you walk. Um, Mackerel, what can we see next from you? More music, more macro, more babies, more things coming and things coming. Just stay in tune and be suspense. For camera, say we don't want to plan no, and we don't want to turn on, and it no go so. So stay tuned and we are left with it in suspense. All right, but not leave the party in suspense. How much more babies you want? I want a football team. The father will be the coach. I don't know whether I have Debbie as the referee. The referee slash auntie. Can we take them in? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to take them. The I will take them. And we just need for multiply because the Bible is here. We're supposed to multiply. So, if somebody got to fulfill the Bible, and when they don't start already, baby, with the having baby, I'm going to just need for can't tell you to make God proud. <laughs> Were you just saying make God proud? Yeah. You sure I'm proud for babies having babies? Yeah. You know, easy, you know? In prone. Yeah, uh, we have video went down again. Lad, girl, can I be the snow? <laughs> okay. Okay, so so you're back. So there, there's several things that we spoke about, and you explain a lot of it to the to to the best of your ability, which was so good. We speak about your mom. We speak about you traveling. You take people, man. You get your head bust up. People in teeth your money. I mean, you have been through so oh much, so yeah. much in life. Is that why you act like so much of a warrior and nothing bothers Michael because you've already experienced so much? Yeah. I'm going to know what the streets is like. And you're at a point where nobody can, can um, tea from Michael again. Mm-mm, they can't tea from me again. And we'll come. I'm not trust nobody to know here, Debbie. 
right? We come to learn, we learn, I remember experience teaches us wisdom. And you're not going to learn, you're not going to repeat the same mistake over and over. You're not going to give in to people at all time because people come, people use you, because people do things that is beneficial to them. What is beneficial to them again? They be them guns. So guess what? You are going to think the beneficial to you also. And know when everybody come and use it again. You're not going to always want to be used. You're not going to always want to constantly hurting yourself. Right, Debbie? Right, right, that's so. Don't be done back. Mm -hmm, right, that's so. With, um, with macro being on top of things right now, you're at the top of your game. You're, you're loving who you are. You're making money. You're getting the bookings. Um, what, what would you want to say to the viewers? Like, what is your final say? People, remember to look out for me. Remember say, I'm going to always be me. I don't want you to expect me to be at that and expect me to be at that. And expect me. me is just me from one of the from day one. I want you guys to just keep positive, stay tuned. Remember say, let me nobody bring it along. Let me have no negative energy to know and just be on yourself. Always be yourself. Don't try to be a Debbie. Don't try to be a mackerel. Be you. And Debbie, also be you. Don't try to be a mackerel, Debbie. Mackerel just is going to be mackerel and you will have to just be yourself in life. You understand? And not all of us make it till I make it work for it. Not all of us. So I would just, I would just flow naturally. Mm -hmm. Focus on the money. Focus on how to make that cash. Don't focus on how to go there, be big girl, sit on and gossip about people. Focus on how to make that money. Whether you have to take man's feet, baby, you have to do a nine to five feet, you have to whatever. Just focus on how to make money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But maybe may I have to be a little bit of mackerel. Come on, learn how to bend up in the ass and get the glory from my husband and something like that. Wow. If you ever send on the notes, just send on the notes. Murder. That is, that <laughs> you have to do what you have to do, though. No? Exactly. We have to, survival is the key, baby. Not no, oh, I want to be a lady. I want to be a gentleman. Survival is the key. And it's just my opinion. You know, I agree. Survival is the key. We have to survive out here. But can't remember, nobody not do nothing for you. You have to do it for yourself. They say you have to know to survive out there for yourself. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with that. Well, thank you, Marco, so much for being on the Debbie and Newman project. You give yes, me a hope. I really appreciate it. I want to say thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. You can come here again when you meet my next time, girl. Because I don't know the lady, I will be available. So, get understand if you want. We'll talk some more story and talk some more things and be things and be things. I really appreciate it. And I thank you very much, Debbie, for, you don't know, say I want to love girl. Yes. Well, no problem. Thank you for being yourself, man. You can't be nobody else but yourself. You explained yourself perfectly. And that is why people keep on loving you because Macro just taught the truth. And that is it. So once again, thank you so much for being here with me. And um, big up, take care of the family and one love. Yeah. If you've made it this far, that really only means that we're at the end of another conversation. But just before you roll into the next episode, it's time for you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Catch you on the next episode.